Well, everybody, the grand jury did not indict William Thorogood. I repeat, they did not indict William Thorogood. I told y'all they were going to protect this piece of shit cop. Well, Jeremiah, told you so. Hey, folks, I'm Dutch Doll. I'm the host of Dutch Doll Discussions. Today, we're here to talk about the voices in my head and what this guy's going to say about Officer Thorogood. I told him it was going to go down this way. I told him. Stay tuned to see what else i got to say about this subject. Where it began I can't begin to know it but then I know it's growing strong Wasn't the spring And spring became the summer Who'd have believed you'd come along Hand Touching hands Reaching out, touching me, touching you. Sweet Caroline, good times never seem so good. I've been inclined. And it don't seem so lonely We fill it up with only two And when I heard Now, Jeremiah, if you remember correctly You said you were going to be uploading that video a lot Until he was indicted and the felony warrant went out for him And I, com I commented, it's not going to go out you were so sure there was going to be a felony warrant for his arrest. But no, I watched the video. Everybody else watched the video. There wasn't physical injury, which is the misdemeanor offense, and there wasn't serious physical injury, which is the felony. You're not missing a limb. You're not likely to die. You didn't get shot. You don't have it. You can't say you want them to be charged with whatever crime because you feel like it when they haven't committed the crime. If anything, at best... It would have been harassment or disorderly conduct. But assault, felony charges on that? Are you kidding me? Your understanding of the law, son, is a lot different than mine. But don't take my opinion. I only enforced the law for 21 years and have made plenty of assault arrests, plenty of murder, uh, uh, ran plenty of murder investigations, took plenty of assholes into custody, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Remember these texts, uh, these um, comments, uh, Jeremiah? We had them on your page on that video. Just for shits and giggles, you can't pick a charge off the chart and say he did that. You can't bully the district attorney into filing charges for a crime that wasn't committed. It, the, harassment at best, maybe discon, maybe discon. But you know the officer went there, you went, you lived there, you went to his home, you incited that whole thing by throwing rubbish onto his onto his grass and you've been blaming everything on your daughter lately. Your daughter made the video. Your daughter threw the garbage there. Come on. Why don't you be a good example to the kid? The kid littered. 
You may even make her go pick it up. Or you clean up after your kid. It's that easy. But you can't tell me you didn't know that officer lived there. Guaranteed. Bet you 10 to 1 you did. I'm most certainly sure you did. And then you continue to ramble on. Cause a scene. By the way, you can't talk to your wife like that anymore. It's 2023. Come on. Have respect for the woman that you said you're going to protect for the rest of your life. Uphold and cherish through sickness and health. All that shit. Remember? Remember? Come here now. You're my wife. She's a wife, but she's not a Labrador Retriever, is she? She's not a fucking dog, Jeremiah. She's not. Bro, there is something wrong with your fucking brain. There really is. Hey, man, you've been eating retard sandwiches again. And the sad thing is, you believe everything that comes out of your mouth. And it's wrong. Your concept of the law is fucking wrong. There are certain statutes and limitations and uh, thresholds that need to be crossed for a crime to be committed. You just can't go running out there and running your, your fucking spout off and making up shit. No, you can't. And he's a piece of shit cop. But I haven't, I've seen all your videos. I don't think you ever ran into one good cop. Not one. We're all pieces of shit to you. And stop blaming your daughter for shit. She threw the rubbish on the lawn. You blamed her for the fucking video. That poor girl. That poor girl. You're going to give one giving her a fucking complex, Jeremiah. She's going to be the unpopular kid in class because of you. Come on, bro. Be a father. Don't yell in front of the... Don't. In front of the kid? No, don't carry on. You, you have no... You have no concept of what child welfare is. I mean, I don't want to harp on your kid. I really don't, but... Putting her into those situations is not good. You're traumatizing her. When the cop is yelling at you, you're yelling at the cop, and she's in the middle, don't where's my daddy? You're traumatizing that child. It's like, you better off she's trying to sell the kid. How much for the little girl? The women. How much for the women? What? Your women. I, I, I want to buy your women, the little girl, your daughters. Sell them to me. Sell me your children. Mater D. Mater D. Let's face it. You go out there every day to be a jack wagon. You're going to be a fucking jerk off. You're a prick to every cop you meet. You never give them the benefit of the doubt. You might have a really, really, really good cop. I mean, maybe a community affairs guy or something like that. A public liaison officer. You might think they're a good cop. They might be very docile to you. Maybe you can walk in the station house, pet them and everything. Keep them as a pet. Something like that. But you can't go out being a prick every day to every fucking cop. You've ru you <laughs> you're ruining your argument. You're exposing tyrant. But so every cop's a tyrant. You say you believe in the good cops. I mean, you've said it, you know. But you haven't found one good cop yet, have you? Take a break. Do us all a favor. Take a break. Hey, O'Neill. Take a break. You don't have to be a prick every day of your life, you know. Lars, get your men ready. I don't know about you, but I, I see self-esteem issues happening with your daughter from all this. You're, you're traumatizing the poor girl. I mean, what's next? She goes to high school, she's dropping to high school, she's using drugs, she's dancing at a strip club, and you're going to be proud of her? Come on, I know you're white trash, but make an effort here. Seriously. For the girl's sake. For your daughter's sake, make a fuck. You did it with your boys. You didn't. But now you have a daughter. Why don't you do the right thing by her? Stop, give up all this fucking bullshit. I'm going to sue the cops. I'm going to sue the county. I'm going to sue the fucking state. And get a job. Stop looking for the easy payday. You know you're working harder for a lawsuit with all the shit you're doing than it would be for you to clock in from 9 to 5 from Monday to Friday. Sell the guns. Because you have no use for them. You're not a cop. You'll never be a cop. You have the right to defend yourself. But go repurchase them after you have a job and you become grounded and settled. Jeremiah, I've ran into train wrecks like you my whole career. I, I, I have nothing but empathy and I feel bad for you. But the person I feel the worst for is Skylar. I don't care about your fucking wife, even though you treat her like fucking shit. But poor Skylar. Seriously. I mean, you have channels that absolutely fucking hate each other coming at you. I, we absolutely fucking can't stand each other, but yet we all agree on this subject. We all do.
If two people from the end, opposite sides of the spectrum see this and agree with it, you got to be wrong, bro. You wake up in the morning, you see an asshole. You go to lunch, you see an asshole. You get home from work, you see an asshole. Have dinner, you see an asshole. Chances are, you're the asshole. Seriously. You ever hear the saying, you run into an asshole in the morning, you ran into an asshole. You run into assholes all day, you're the asshole. Then stop flashing your piece, man. It's a concealed carry permit. Concealed. Nobody's supposed to know you have it. Shh. Concealed. You with that gun with your daughter is only going to lead to something bad. Because you're too hot-headed. You just, I got a gun on me. I'm armed. Shut the fuck up already. Seriously. You're going to say you're armed. Some, the off-duty cop or whoever you're fucking with is going to be armed. You're going to say that. They're going to go for their gun. You're going to see them going for the gun. You're going to try to beat them to the punch. And they're going to wind up shooting you. You know why? Because they're trained. We're trained to eliminate the threat. That's what we're trained to do. And they're not going to see the you take the guns. Gonna, you're going to pull your gun. You're going to point it, and it's going to be all she wrote. And do you really want to traumatize your daughter more than that? I mean, seriously, she'll be going to therapy for the rest of her fucking life. All she says is, "Don't hurt my daddy. Don't arrest my daddy. Don't arrest my daddy." She cares for you, Jeremiah. You're her father. Get rid of the fucking gun. You can't pay for a hotel room, but yet you can have a firearm. Nine millimeter rounds are fucking expensive. They're really fucking... I know, I have a bunch of them. I got a bunch of guns. But I did a job and I retired and I have a pension. That's the thing with... By the time... What are you, in your late 30s? You'd be 20 years and only... You'd be 50-something when you retire. I started when I was 21. I got out of 20, uh, 43. What, what good are you doing? Besides annoying everybody in the community and making an ass of yourself. See... You're going to wind up getting hurt. And I hate to see Skylar go through that and grow up through life without a father. You're not much of a father figure, but still. Stop the e-begging. You look pathetic. It really is. And what kind of morals and standards are you setting for your daughter? Seriously, you want a gateway to her future. Right now, that future is a brass pole in a bar somewhere. Come on, man. You're nothing but a dog face pony soldier, aren't you? Huh? How's <laughs> it? Yeah? Before we start, run in the other room and get my code, will you? I got something there for your mother. Right now? Yeah. Can it wait? Well, it's something very special. Okay. Face pony soldier. No shit. I actually think me and Joe Biden agree on something. We really do. Jim, every time you open your, your mouth with one of these videos, you're just lying right across the board. I mean, you outright fuck it. It's on video. You, you, you're creating your own perjury evidence. You swear to that in court. That's perjury, bro. That's just bad. At no time did you sustain any injuries. Serious or regular or just mild. It's like... They're not even redness. You put your wife in an awkward position, put your daughter in a traumatizing position, all because you wanted to have that cop jammed up because you had prior history with him. Because he caught you slipping. Bro, that's what we do. We got PhDs in catching people slipping. That's our job. And if we wanted to be good at our jobs, if we weren't good at our jobs, what would we be? We'd be cunts, right? Like the movie Departed, we be cunts. Do you know what we do here? My section. 
Sir, yes, sir, I have an idea, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sir. Let's say you have no idea and leave it at that, okay? No idea. Zip. None. You had an idea about what we do. We would not be good at what we do, would we? We would be cunts. Are you calling us cunts? I'll let you answer that question, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yes, he's calling us cunts. He calls all police officers cunts. Maybe not to their faces, but under his breath and behind their backs, he's calling us cunts. We're not good at our jobs. We don't know what we're doing, do we? Do we? Nah. Jeremiah, there's a key word in there. Job. We're doing a job. A fair day's labor for a fair wage. Get a job. Please. For the goddamn sake of your daughter. Get a fucking job before you wind up in goddamn jail or worse. Six feet under because you flashed the fucking piece. You're not going to beat the cop out of the holster. You're not. And even if you do, you're not going to put rounds down range accurate. Firm believer in firearms control. There's a firearm on the room. I want to be in control of it. Well, anyway, Jeremiah, I've allotted my time for you today. And I get to say one thing. Told you so. Didn't I? Didn't I? I did. Anyway, folks, I'm Dutch Doyle. I'm the host of this here discussion. I want you people to get the fuck out of here. Later. Sweet William now